Dear friends, I'm sharing in your disappointment at this negative judicial ruling on AB 32 and the right of California to protect its own residents. This bill sought to protect Californians from the harms inflicted by private prisons, the negligent health care, dangerous safety conditions, and the physical, mental, and sexual abuse. These companies are responsible for numerous deaths that have occurred inside California immigration prisons. We believe that everyone deserves justice, compassion, equal rights, and humane treatment, that immigration detention does not need to and should not be allowed to exist. We had hoped that AB 32 could protect our neighbors. Just a few months ago on our pilgrimage for a better future, we traveled to each of the six for-profit immigration prisons in California, in the cities of Bakersfield, Adelanto, Calexico, McFarland, and San Diego. We heard from daughters and grandfathers who testified to the abuse and suffering they are forced to experience. We heard about the guaranteed contracts paid to these corporations who get tens of millions of our community's taxpayers' dollars, even when they're holding just a fraction of people inside their facilities at this time. In California, 99% of all immigrants detained are held in private prisons. Private prisons have a profit-based incentive to cut corners and increase incarceration. They pour millions of dollars to lobby for an immigration policy reliant on caging people, families, and children. A recent study confirms that the presence of immigration prisons makes surrounding communities less safe. The existence of a 50-bed facility makes it more than two times more likely that immigrants living in that region will be arrested and detained by ICE. The presence of an 850-bed facility increases that likelihood to more than six times. Immigration detention is unnecessary, inhumane, and unsafe. So where will we go from here? We will continue to call for the Biden administration to close these immigration prisons in California. We will continue to demand the Biden administration stop excluding immigration prisons from his executive order to eliminate federal contracts and private prisons, except in the case of immigrants. If he believes that private prisons are bad business and bad for people, they are bad for all people. We will call on members of Congress to reduce the nearly $25 billion in this year's budget for immigration enforcement and redirect investments to community groups offering support to immigrants and envisioning an immigration system that doesn't cage people. We will call on Governor Newsom, who once promised to end private prisons in the state of California. If he recognizes how bad private prisons are, will he then stop collaborating with ICE and funneling Californians into this deadly and abhorrent detention system? We will call on you to not despair, but to keep holding on to the truth. We're working on new strategies with our partners of how to close these facilities, and we will be asking you to join us. I ask you to pray. The path is not easy, but it is clear where we must go to prevent harm and protect our neighbors and newcomers, family members we have not yet met. Thank you for walking with us and stay close and nearby as we move forward for healing, for just closures and thriving communities. May it be so.